Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Eli Millard. We're watching the chance for spotty showers to develop in the overnight hours. Really the first rain chance that we've seen in quite a while that'll move through the area, like I mentioned, into the overnight hours. But once again, we'll be heating up again tomorrow, so it'll be temperatures around like what we saw today. But the silver lining is there is a frontal boundary that slides through in the afternoon hours for tomorrow that'll really cool us down. Really, this cool air will settle in going into Wednesday. Like I mentioned, that cool front does arrive going into Tuesday, cooling us down for your Wednesday. But more significant cool down looks to be as we go Sunday into Monday, talking temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s. So feeling much better by next week. Now, like I mentioned, pretty much a windy day today. Here the flag blowing around in Clay Center right now and a shot in Manhattan. A little bit more cloud cover than what we've seen the last couple of days. Our dew points are a little bit up, so allowing uh, the more moisture in the air, allowing clouds to develop here. Now, current temperature right now, though, 98 degrees. Well, it feels like 98. Like I mentioned, humidity still low, but not as dry as what we saw the last couple of days. Dew points in the lower 60s. 60 for your dew point right now. Winds out of the south at 16 miles per hour. Now this morning, still pretty warm. That's eight degrees above average. Our low was 70 this morning. Then we heated up 30 degrees here. High of today was 100 degrees. That's 15 degrees above average and only three degrees short of the daily record set back in 1954 here. But current temperatures right now down to 98 degrees here in Topeka, 95 in the Hiawatha as well as Marysville and hundreds in our western portions of the viewing area, but still dry. As at least it's a dry heat. We don't have that oppressive heat that we saw about a week and a half ago here. Dew points in the upper 50s and lower 60s. 60 for your dew points in Topeka as well as Manhattan. 61 in Marysville. 56 for your dew point in Concordia right now. Now as we go on throughout the uh, throughout the next couple of days here, the humidity will build into the overnight hours, allowing for a pretty warm overnight, and that'll hang on throughout uh, the morning uh, hours on Tuesday. Then that front moves through. Drier air wins the battle going later on into Tuesday. And then as we go into Wednesday, it'll feel great. We'll have temperatures in the upper 80s. And like I mentioned, not much as of humidity at all. It'll be pretty much dry. So you'll, you'll notice a significant difference as we go into Wednesday comparatively to Tuesday here. Wind speeds right now, though, 15 to 25 miles per hour out of the south for most of the viewing area. Now as we go into the overnight hours, we'll still be windy in the overnight hours, still like what we saw today. But as we go into Tuesday, that frontal boundary slides through. And check this out. We got winds out of the northwest going to end off our Tuesday. So we'll still be hot, but we'll start to cool down as we go into Tuesday. And look at Wednesday. Winds out of the north, a little bit calmer than what we saw today, but a cooling breeze, low humidity, and cooler temperatures makes Wednesday look fantastic right now. Satellite and radar right now, some high clouds in the area, a few spotty showers just south of Lyon County, but not much right now. What we're watching is this low pressure system really centered over Wyoming that'll slide its way towards the east, with that bringing a cool front and a rain chance in the overnight hours here. Is Tuesday at uh, 1230 in the morning. Overnight hours, storms start to develop. So showers and storms about 330. The southwestern portions of the viewing area, talking Morris, Clay, and Dickinson County, that slides off towards the east, reaching the Topeka area by about 5 in the morning. Maybe a wet commute to the morning, but we'll clear out by 830 in the morning. And then for the rest of Tuesday, it looks great. Lots of sunshine, but like I mentioned, it'll still be a hot day for Tuesday. Looking at Wednesday for that relief right now. Current uh, seven day forecast here, 99 degrees, could hit up to 100 degrees as we see that rain clear out early on in Tuesday. So once again, another windy day, winds out of the west from 15 to 25 miles per hour. Winds switch to the north, five to 15 miles per hour, 12 degree difference on Wednesday, 87 for your high on Wednesday. Heating up a little bit for Thursday before another chance for storms Thursday night and Friday, but the best storm chance is to be Sunday into Monday with that a cool down, talking temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s. So just one week away, will be below average temperatures. Looks great. There you go. Yeah. You get past Labor Day, I, I certainly don't want to see a triple digit. Yeah. And yeah. it'd be nice to kind of get rid of the 90s too. Oh, for sure. The upper 80s will feel, compared to what we've seen, will feel like winter, almost like winter weather, you know? So, <laughs> should feel nice. Thank yeah. you, Eli.